hello friends welcome to my channel it's been uh, quite some time i have not posted any content on my youtube channel due to uh, busy schedules recently i have uh, started my winter venom stream culture in my uh, open biflock pond so this will be the first experiment in an open biflock pond in this winter season in last uh, winter i had successfully tested in my uh, 10000 liter small tanks this time I am doing in the open biflock pond that is 10 lakh liter uh, open biflock pond. In this video I am going to uh, share lots of uh, valuable information about my Venami shrimp culture in the biflock system. So keep watching this video till the end and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing it. If you feel uh, the content is uh, worth please uh, share it with your friends and family members. If you are following my channel for some time, you must be knowing that my previous culture was based on blue-green algae experiment. Due to overblooming of blue-green algae in my open biflock pond, it polluted the entire system because of which all the shrimps died when their average body weight was uh, 20 gram. The blue-green algae was uh, very helpful creating high dissolved oxygen in the pond during the daytime which helped to save good amount of electricity bills. But during the night time, they crash and they do intake high diesel oxygen from water. Even though you run high efficient aeration system, it may not fulfill the required diesel oxygen level in the water, as per my experience. Lots of things I have explored in my previous culture. If you have not watched my previous culture video, I have shared the link in the description. Please click the link and watch it. This time I have started the Venom Shrimp farming in the biflock system a bit late due to unavailability of seeds. During the winter time, most of the hatcheries are closed as the traditional farmers they don't do the culture in the winter time. Somehow I managed to get the seeds from Andhra Pradesh which is far away from my place. As the travel duration was very long and the person who was actually carrying the seed packets in a non-air conditioned vehicle due to which I found many dead shrimps in the packet and overall most of the shrimps were in a very inactive stage. I had ordered around 75 packets, roughly a total number of uh, venom shrimps may be around 1 lakh to 1.2 lakhs. If I consider 50% mortality, then total number of shrimps could be around 50,000 to 60,000 max. As you know, I have 4 number of 10,000 liter nursery tanks. So this time around 60 packets out of 75 packets I had stocked in the nursery tanks and the rest 15 packets I had stocked directly in the open pond. The goal was to check the overall growth in both the tanks. As the winter is going on, in my place overall temperature is getting maintained around 15 degree to 22 degrees, which is not optimal temperature for the Venom shrimp culture. The minimum temperature requirement is 28 degree or more. After two weeks of stocking, I didn't see much growth in nursery tanks as well as in the open pond. That could be two reasons either the winter season or the seeds are not of good quality. Comparatively, uh, the Venami shrimps in the open pond whose growth was little better than the nursery tanks. As it's a big pond and the temperature fluctuation is very slow. Whereas in the small tanks, that is 10,000 liter tanks, in night time the temperature, water temperature goes below 15 degrees. That's the reason recently I had transferred all the shrimps from the nursery tanks to the open pond so that uh, they'll find uh, a wide open space where the water capacity is uh, very high compared to the tanks and temperature fluctuations also very uh, slow. So the growth rate will be better than the ta tanks. So that's the reason I have transferred all the shrimps from the nursery tanks to the open by plug pond. If you are doing Venom shrimp farming in a biplug system, the diesel oxygen plays a very critical role. 
more than 5 ppm of diesel oxygen is required for a better culture. As like my previous culture, this time also none of my aeration systems are running to fulfill the diesel oxygen requirements. You can see my pond, there is no aeration system is running since last 2-3 weeks. Let me now show you the diesel oxygen level in the daytime and nighttime when there is no aeration system is running at all. This is a Lutron Deometer which I am using uh, for measuring the diesel oxygen level. So this product is a quite good product I have been using since last 2-3 years. I have also shared the link in the description if you wish you can buy this product. Now it's uh, 11 am in the morning. Let's take some sample water from the pond and test it. Normally this uh, Lutron Deometer takes 1 to 2 minutes uh, to give the correct reading. You can see the current diesel oxygen level in my open biplug pond. The DO is getting maintained around 7 ppm at the daytime. Sometimes it's uh, more than 7 ppm, it goes around 10, 11 sometimes in the daytime. Now uh, I'll show you at the night time how much DO is actually getting maintained. It's evening 8 pm now. You can see there is no aeration system is running. Water is still and stable. Let's take some sample water from the pond and test it. You can see the diesel oxygen level is 7 ppm in the night time. Okay, when there is no aeration system is running. Since last 2-3 weeks, my project has been running without any aeration systems. This time I have introduced around 14 number of carp category uh, fishes uh, that is common carp, cattle, grass carp into my open biplug pond. That is 10 lakh liter open biplug pond where I am doing the shrimp culture. Intention uh, behind introducing this carp type of fishes into my uh, open biplug pond is to clean up excess algae growth that is getting uh, formed. This is a new experiment. So far the results are quite good. There is no excess algae uh, growth okay, in my open biplug pond. And these carp category fishes won't harm sims. So it's a kind of win-win situation. Let's wait for a few months and see the results of fishes and the shrimps. Thank you so much for watching my video so patiently. If you have any queries, please feel free to comment. I'll try to respond to your queries as earliest as possible. See you soon with some new informational content. Till then, bye bye, take care and have a wonderful time. Thank you so much.